After Inspector Bijoe busted the consignment of a Daikalam and Umbu three months ago, C. Police Chief Jose summons Amar, the head of a black ops team, to bring justice to a group of masked vigilantes who have killed Stephen Raj, following his arrest and subsequent release after being busted for assisting a Daikalam and Umbu, ACP Prabhanjan, and his foster father, Kernan. Amar leads the inquiry into Kernan's life, as his murder appears out of place given that Kernan was a simple guy while the other two were higher-ranking narcotics division officers. Amar discovers Kernan's new addictions to drink, drugs, and prostitutes while being overly protective of his infant foster grandson. During the investigation, Amar revealed that two missing drug containers were being pursued by Sandanam, who operates a far larger drug syndicate than Adikalam and is known as Vedi Vagiyara. The two canisters needed to be delivered to his cold-blooded smuggling boss Rolex, the identity of whom is unknown. If the medicines are delivered, Rolex will assist Sandanam in establishing his own government, otherwise, Sandanam and his family would be killed. He gradually realizes that all of Kernan's addictions were a facade to conceal a highly classified operation that he was running. Meanwhile, Virapandian, a PWD officer, arranges a meeting with other gangsters at a theater, where he discloses that he and a contractor named Rudra Pratap know the location of the cocaine containers and plan to transport them to Rolex without going via Sandanam. However, the masked vigilantes approach and slit Virapandian's throat. Amar and his squad arrive on the location thanks to a tracking chip left behind by Karnan and successfully apprehend one of them, who turns out to be Bijoi. Amar interrogates Bijoi, who discloses that his family was murdered as a result of his role in the last narcotics bust, prompting him to don the mask and join the vigilantes. Amar and his team sneak into Rudra Pratap's daughter's wedding ceremony, where Rudra Pratap has also invited Sandanam for security, fearing for his life and family. The masked men and their leader arrive for Rudra Pratap's daughter's wedding, and the leader threatens him by holding his daughter at knife point. The leader carries Rudra Pratap out of the wedding and flees on a bike, leaving the remaining members to cope with Sandanam. Sandanam, on the other hand, succeeds to vanquish all of them. Amar pursues and eventually confronts the leader. The leader makes a video call to Sandanam and shows himself to be Karnan, who is alive and well after faking his death. Karnan murders Rudra Pratap by cutting his throat and flees the police. Karnan, Amar admits, is actually Vikram, the previous commander of the Black Ops squad's pilot batch. Vikram's team of 12 people was disbanded following a botched mission in 1991, and its members were labeled terrorists. The members and their families were later hunted down and brutally murdered, but Vikram and three other members of the team survived. Amar meets Jose and discovers that Jose is Sandanam's mole in the department and was also involved in Prabhanjan's death. Sandanam was able to capture Prabhanjan with the assistance of Jose. Sandanam had grilled Prabhanjan about the containers, and when Prabhanjan refused to reveal any information, Sandanam became infuriated and murdered him. As a result, Jose, 
Veerapandian, and Rudra Pratap are forced to cover up the murder by making it appear to be a terrorist strike. Amar sets off a bomb at Sandanam's residence, destroying his bungalow and his drug lab in the basement. Jose warns Sandanam just in time, and everyone but Sandanam's brother Elongo escapes the bomb. Sandanam learns Vikram and Amar's true identities from Jose. Vikram later comes at the prison and releases Bijoi and his squad. Sandanam viciously decapitates Amar's wife Gayatri and sends his thugs to attack and murder Vikram's daughter-in-law and grandchild at Prabhunjan's residence. Vikram rushes to save them, where a team member of Vikram's pilot black squad and associate, Agent Tina, who was working as the housekeeper under the alias Valiama, is killed while protecting Vikram's daughter-in-law and grandchild. Vikram eventually saves them. Amar joins Vikram's group to take down Sandanam and his syndicate after being devastated by Gayatri's death. He goes to Jose's residence and murders him after discovering his involvement in Gayatri's death. It is revealed that Vikram's activities are motivated by a desire to bust the city's drug syndicate, which materialized in him through Prabhunjan's death. He also acknowledges that Prabhunjan was his biological son. Vikram and his grandson arrive at the Chennai port, where the containers are concealed. Sandanam discovers the location of the containers and assaults Vikram. Vikram slaughters Sandanam's soldiers with a cannon and an M2 Browning, but the surviving members of his pilot black team, agents Apuliapan and Lawrence, are also slain while attempting to protect Vikram's grandson. Vikram blows up Sandanam's containers, killing him in the subsequent explosion. Amar laments Gayatri's death, and with the syndicate dissolved, he dons the grease paint and joins Vikram's team, along with Bijoi. Ambu and Adikalam arrive with their soldiers at Sassoon docks in Mumbai. They meet with the thugs associated with Sandanam, as well as their boss, Rolex. Sandanam's men confess Vikram and Amar's participation in destroying their drug syndicate and killing their commander, while Adikalam and Ambu reveal Dili's involvement in the Trishi drug ambush. Rolex announces a large sum as a reward for Amar, Dili, and Vikram's team's execution. They also reveal Dili's current location in Bundelkhand, Uttar Pradesh, and Vikram's family's whereabouts in San Francisco. Unbeknownst to Rolex and the rest of the attendees, Vikram is hidden among the gangsters and hears about the bounty placed on his colleagues, Amar and Dili. <laughs>